what's up and welcome back to my channel so today well today we'll be doing a, a review on the 2009 macbook pro 15 inch so without further ado let's get into the video so now let's get into the technical specifications of this laptop let me just turn this around okay so so as you can see here this is the maxif this is the first MagSafe charger which is which is the power input for the laptop next is the gigabyte e gigabyte ethernet for 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 internet connections and the next is the firewire 800 port for for display purposes and the next is the mini dp also known as the mini display port which is also used for for display purposes the next is the two USB port where you can insert th thumb drive and, and and external storage devices. The next is is the SD card slot where we can insert the SD card. This is mainly for photographers who want to input their photos to their MacBook. The next is we have two headphone jacks. One, uh, but 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 this was not called the headphone jack. This was uh, the the first port as you can see is is the audio input and the next is the audio output then next to that we have we have the battery indicator okay let me let me just press this and there you can see the light this is the th this light shows the approximate indication of how much battery your macbook has this is a really cool feature which i which i would love to have in newer macbooks but unfortunately we don't so let me turn to this side so at the front of the macbook as we can see there's a light blinking the, this indicates that the macbook is in sleep mode and, and it's not shut down and and beside that there's another there's another sensor this this is for the apple remote all the old macbooks were able to connect to connect to apple remotes and were able it, and we're able to be controlled by Apple remotes. Okay, as we go to this side, as we go to this side, we have the we have the security slot. This is to prevent someone from stealing a MacBook. So basically, we just have to insert insert an external device in, into this port, into this port to prevent someone from taking away a MacBook. They were in future MacBooks. This was replaced with the activation lock, as we all know. Okay, then beside that, we have this really big slot. This is the super drive. Yes, this is super drive to insert your CDs. So yeah, this MacBook has an had an inbuilt CD drive, but it was discontinued from 2011 MacBook onwards. So on top of that, we have the most famous glowing Apple logo. So le let me just open this laptop to show you the glowing Apple logo. Let's just wait for it to come. Okay, there we go. You can see the Apple logo glowing. Uh, let me just turn off the lights so that you can see it better. Okay, there we go. Okay, so now let's officially open the MacBook to get started. Okay, so now the MacBook is up, it's, it's just on, and yep. So let me just log into this MacBook for now. Okay, yeah, so now we are inside this MacBook. We are inside the MacBook now, so yeah, there you can see. Okay, so before we start with any software, let's just look at the uh, look look at the inside of the computer. So let so let me just log this. I'm just gonna lock the screen now. Okay, there we are. Okay, so so first, as you can see, this is the i. Okay, I'm trying to focus here. Okay, as you can see, this is the eyesight camera. Okay, the, uh, now in in newer MacBooks, this is called the FaceTime camera, but it, but back then it was but back then it was called the eyesight camera. Okay, so beside that we have the camera indication light, which I'll try to show you now. 
okay so I actually open photo booth just to show you the camera indication light so yeah this was a feature from back then yeah so now let's continue so after the eyesight camera we have the microphone we have the microphone here yeah so after that we have these two stereo speakers two giant stereo speakers as you can see here and here on on, on both sides so after the battery yep yeah, after that the battery yeah, as i said before this is the battery indicator light okay so now it's not available since the light since the MacBook is on turned on and use okay so now okay then that's the power button down there it, and this is the eject button for the cd drive for, for the cd to come out yeah and and of course last, last but not the least this is trackpad so so this the so this trackpad is actually the multi-touch trackpad just like the new ones and and, and it has finger gesture for for easy movements okay, so now this when this macbook was shipped back in 2009 it, it, it actually came with the mac os x operating service but now but now it's actually running on mac mac os catalina as you can see let me just show you guys here Okay, so it's actually running Mac OS Catalina here, version 10.15.7, and this is the 15-inch model, as I said, and 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 the processor is Intel Core 2 Duo with 4 GB of RAM. Okay, so now let's get into the display. Okay, so the di so display is 15.4 inch with Nevada. We have GeForce 9400M 256MB graphics and the storage of this MacBook is 320 20GB SATA drive this is not an SSD model but a SATA drive so this is a really old model with a memory of 4GB so this can be upgraded up to 8GB of RAM and and the memory card slots are replaceable and the support is of of course the support is top and yeah so so this macbook can't be repaired by apple since it's a vintage model and and apple doesn't give technical support for this macbook anymore and now moving on to the keyboard this keyboard is not the butterfly keyboard that we have now but it's the scissor keyboard let, let me just press the key so you can hear the sound Okay, so there we go. As you can see, this is a scissor keyboard. So I actually press something. So I'm just gonna, yep. So okay. So now let's go on. So, yeah. So actually, this MacBook can be supported up to macOS El Capitan. This this MacBook ship with macOS X, but is but but it's supported to macOS El Capitan. But for me, I actually set up a patcher update. As you can see this patcher update, so, uh, and I patched it up to macOS Catalina. Unfortunately, Big Sur can't be done as it's only available on newer devices, and patcher does not work for that. Okay, and so now there's this airport utility, so it's all in. So mostly it's the same app since it's macOS El macOS Catalina. So yeah. So let's do a Geekbench co comparison. I mean let's do a ge uh, Geekbench check to check the MacBook. Okay. So mine is in tryout mode, so I'm not gonna purchase. I'm just gonna click later. So I actually have to click the keyboard in order for it to work, and. And I can only run Geekbench on the CPU and I can't run Geekbench Compute because this device is not compatible. So yeah. So as you can see, yeah, this is the same specification as I said before. So the CPU architecture is of course Intel. 
Okay, so CPU, I'm just gonna run the benchmark and let's wait, let's wait for it to give it to be done. Okay, so now so now the give bench is complete and now let's let's take a look at the results. So for the Geekbench, we have scored 346 for the single call and 640 for the multi call. So now let's take a look at at our previous previous Geekbench results and check if it's the same. Hopefully we can check this, but I'm not really sure about that. Let's just check. Okay guys, so I actually wasn't able to get the old Geekbench results, but yep, there we go. So our final results are, let's see once again, 346 for single core and 640 for multi core. Okay, so we're just going to close this. And now let's open maps. So yeah, so I actually have my dog at this side here. I actually don't usually have my dog there, but I just want to try it out. So then press OK. So so there we are. So this is the old Google Maps. On Mac, on, on Mac OS Catalina, so as you can see, the loading speed is actually quite different. I mean, it's quite slow, so I actually can't zoom out after this. So, I actually have to scroll upwards if I want to go to other countries. So, but the scrolling, scrolling rate is quite good for a 11 years old laptop, but yeah. So let's just close maps now and as you actually have clicked close but yeah as you can see the there's a lag there so now let's open let's open apple music now so let's see and we wait some time to load Okay, so yeah, now we are inside Apple Music. So I actually didn't set this MacBook up. It was actually on. Actually, yeah, I just set it up. I, I I didn't set it up for this video, so let's just click start listening and yep. Yeah. So let me just click not now and there we go. This is the old Apple Music here. So yeah guys. Yep. So there we go. And and as you can see here this is the old finder. If you if you don't remember this, this is the old finder. Yep. And and this is the old Catalina Mac Mac Catalina the notification center. Yeah guys, that's it. Okay guys, thank you so much for watching my video. So if you all want to have any any more comparison like this, do remember to subscribe to my channel for more videos. Thank you.